So when was see, this whole thing written? This was written in the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, right? So there were scribes, 30 years? 20 23 years, 23 from years. From the time of the first revelation till his death, peace and blessings be upon him, right? It was, and it was all written complete? All written complete. Time. Now, it was compiled as a book format in the time of the next Caliph, which is one year after the death of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, right? Abu Bakr, right? But during his lifetime, as you just heard from his memory, they memorized the entire Quran, word by word, letter by letter, from the beginning to the end. And this is not a magician trick. I was showing you. No, that's I not know, what I was I got you. I got you. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Man. Relax. I was just showing you that at random, you picked a chapter and he can read it from memory. And like him, we have thousands here. We have millions across the world, right? So what that does is we never have a problem of there being contradictions. Why? Because when from the time of the Prophet, from that beginning, People memorize, like right? Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, Ubay ibn Ka'ab, Uthman uh, ibn Affan. I can name you at least 30, 40 that we can give you their biographies that memorize the whole Quran, letter by letter, word by word. That's why when you see the Catholic Bible and the Christian Protestant Bible, you see the differences, right? Well, you see there's the a huge difference, difference because right. each book had like hundreds of years in between each other. Exactly. I mean, I think, the exactly. Book, I think there was a prophecy in Isaiah, Isaiah 52 or 53 when it comes to the Jesus. That was written. 750 years before the birth of Christ. I'm with you. So. Now, when you look at that time span, and then the writing of the New Testament, which happened over a time span, you know the original manuscripts that you get, that you base the Greek, I have the Greek New Testament if you want to take a look at it, right? Most of those are from the 7th century, right? Uh, actually, it's 30 AD. 30 AD, a full well, manuscript? Well, maybe, there well, is maybe not. 50 AD. Well, a complete we, manuscript. Well, we have the book of Mark that that sources are saying that it was written probably in 50 to 60 AD. Complete New Testament manuscript. Mark, yes. Mark is one book. Yeah, right? which I'm talking about the say... complete New Testament. John, Luke, yeah. So the no. complete New Testament. But when you have the book of Mark, that early on. Right. Like you know what's the so earliest manuscript that you have? You don't have complete Mark from 50 AD, either, right? Go home and look it up, research it. Let's go home and take a look at that. I would love to. Okay, great. Oh, so let's say 60. You said 60 or 70 AD, right? So that's how long after the time of Jesus? Yeah, 40, 50, 20, 30 years, which uh, is pretty damn. Right? It's pretty damn close. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. See? It's, it's, okay, so now you have that time period. Who were the scribes that, that learned from Jesus what happened until the time it was written? Who would have learned? Who, who wrote them? Mark, we know. Well, it wasn't Peter, but Peter did have. Peter did have. Let, let, let me give you an example. Let, let's look at Hebrews, right? The chapter of Hebrews. The chapter of Hebrews. Oh, oh, book of Hebrews. Book of Hebrews, yeah, yeah. right? Who wrote Hebrews? Actually, no, we don't know. But the language is really similar to Paul's. Right, so meaning the author is anonymous. So we don't even know who wrote Hebrew. And we're depending on it being the word of God. Well, it doesn't mean it's not true. But I mean, who, who wrote it? I, I mean, it could have been a liar, it could have been a thief. I mean, we, we don't know who wrote the book. How could we say that this is accurate? Well, we could if it's consistent. It's Can, good, but, if it's good and consistent right. with the logic and the heart of God. Okay, but when we find clear contradictions between the books, right? What, what was the original point we were talking about? The original point or being that, that we cannot say so this I don't is, want to take us sure. down a rabbit hole. I got you, no problem. Yeah. Point being, with these clear numeric contradictions, with these differences that we find, I don't believe this is the word of God. And that one is. And that one is, right? Because, because we don't was, find such things. Because anymore. it was written in about 25, over the span and all throughout but Muhammad's lifetime. Yes, 23 years. About 23 years. Which is from the little, prophethood till his whereas death. Whereas everyone can come together and copy off of each other to make sure that the whole story is consistent. Excellent, sure. Like Memorize a, like, it. Like a conspiracy, almost. How would that be a conspiracy well, because when they're we're writing? All banding right? together and making sure that we're writing the same thing so we don't pause <laughs> tend so, to screw So let me, let, me, let me explain this, right? If there's a professor giving a talk, right? And during the lecture, you write down the notes and other students write the notes at the same time and get it right, that's not a conspiracy, right? But if after the lecture, years later, anonymous authors start to write books, ascribing it to people, who weren't the ones actually writing, that would be a conspiracy.